We're welcoming back college basketball analyst Ross Benjamin, and we're doing our daily underdog value. Now, there's two interesting games on slate tonight that Ross likes, and uh, I'm anxious once again to get the breakdown. The first one is Arkansas State. Uh, they're getting 14 points against Texas Arlington. And the second game is a very interesting play, Gonzaga. I mean, this is unusual seeing them getting points against a foe like St. Mary's, but Gonzaga's getting three and a half points against St. Mary. So first and foremost, Ross, great to have you back with us. Uh, let's start with this Arkansas State game, getting 14 points. Uh, you think that will bode well for them, and do you think they'll cover easily with those points? Well, let me beat on my chest a little bit here, Mike, if you would allow me. Uh, last night we had Nebraska plus 14 and a half, which was an outright winner over Michigan State. The night before, we had Northwestern plus 13. They took Maryland to overtime before losing by just six, easily getting inside the number. And this is a similar situation as the last two nights. We have an Arkansas State team that's won six of their last seven. They're playing with a lot of confidence right now. They're coming off a upset win at home over Arkansas Little Rock uh, in a game they were a seven-point underdog, winning that game by three, jumping out to a big lead in the first half and just staving off uh, a furious comeback by Little Rock. This is also a Arkansas State team that's just played terrific defense recently, Mike. 34% or less they've held their opponents to from the floor Ooh. in seven of their last nine games, and that goes a long way when you're handicapping and looking for underdog value and uh, finally you have a t Arlington team here similar to Little Rock uh, excellent record they beat some quality competition in the non-conference part of their schedule but they're coming off an upset loss at South Alabama uh, just the other day as a 12-point favorite and that's the same South Alabama team that Arkansas State spanked a couple weeks back at South Alabama by 22 I'm going to take the value here. I'm going to go with Arkansas State plus the 14 over UT Arlington. You know, and, and certainly not not beating your own chest or whatever. Hey, hey, kudos is out there. Hats off when deserved. And yesterday when you delivered that game with Nebraska right away, I had thought of that Northwestern game. So that was a great, great analogy. Perfect. And uh, this could be that situation. Those double-digit spreads have been boding very well for you. Very good point, though, with Arkansas State. Um, you know, when you come off a big win like that against uh, the foe like they had Arkansas Little Rock, that, that does well for you, whether you're on the road or at home. So I kind of like this spot as well, except though Texas um, Arlington, they're five and zero at home against the spread, but what is the quality of the opponents? And you know, that's where you break them down, but I have no reason to doubt you here. These double digit spreads have been doing very good for you. Is there any injury updates uh, for either of those teams, Ross, that may be significant, not in the spread, but just significant as far as who, you know, who's pouring in the points? You know, Mike, uh, we've discussed this on several occasions. I can care less about injuries, weather, and all those other miscellaneous factors are okay. all factored into the line. I just had, to, I had and, to ask it because yeah, the information and, and, I and had. And again, I'm not trying to be a smart ass, but the bottom oh, no. line is this. If, you, if you're if worried about who's playing, and I'm not referring to you, if, you, if the viewers itself, if you're worrying about players on both sides of the ball, I'm out to beat the number. I would suggest you get into fantasy betting because, yeah. you know. Well, it's I just that Arkansas us. State had a point guard. I don't have his name. There was a, an article earlier that said he might be uh, a, a last-minute scratch, and I didn't know how that played into it. But, all right, moving on to the next game, and this is interesting. Gonzaga getting three-and-a-half points uh, against St. Mary's. And, obviously, St. Mary's, they're 15-2. and two, But – you know, hey, they replaced all five starters from last year. How good is that 15-2 and two record? Again, that remains to be seen. But what is it about Gonzaga that you like the, uh, plus the three and a half? And uh, not a lot of wiggle room in that either, Ross. So is that something you, you see as possibly a straight out uh, upright, you know, outright win? Certainly so. Um, again, we'll take the three and a half points as an additional bonus, but uh, you mentioned St. Mary's, how tough a schedule they played. Well, my schedule ratings, or strength of schedule ratings, I should say, has Gonzaga with a three-and-a-half-point advantage over St. Mary's as far as strength of schedule goes. So they've definitely played the tougher schedule. And, of course, that's all came in the non-conference part of their slate. 
Gonzaga is 14 and four. Their four losses have come by a combined 12 points. Two of those losses came by a single point. This is a team that's not far off from being uh, 15 and two or 16 and one. Uh, they've shot the ball extremely well. We know that St. Mary's is a very good shooting team. Well, give Gonzaga a little bit of accolades as well. 54% or better from the field in five of their last seven games. And Mike, this has developed into a, an intense rivalry in the Big West Conference over the years. But you know what? Gonzaga has won the last eight between these teams. So they've sort of staved off a little bit of that uh, that intense rivalry where if people build this game up as, as uh, one of the better rivalries in the country. It, it hasn't transpired as such recently. I'm going to take Gonzaga here plus the three and a half over St. Mary's. You know, I remember, Ross, when that rivalry really started peaking, and that was when St. Mary's made that, you know, that, that had that big year and made it to the big dance, and Gonzaga was really peaking at that time. But you're right. Not only have they won eight, eight straight, but Gonzaga's covered seven out of those eight. The last seven, they've covered the spread as well. So when I looked at that, I'm, I'm thinking, wait a minute. I think experience, and I think Gonzaga not being afraid to play on the road. I like that play, and I absolutely am thinking about putting just a money line play on it. I don't think Gonzaga needs the points. And again, that's just my opinion. So, okay, viewers, you got it. All right, Ross. Ross Benjamin likes Gonzaga plus the three and a half, even though thinks they probably don't even need that three and a half. And also Arkansas State getting 14 tonight. And remember, those high double uh, figure spreads have done very well for Ross Benjamin. So cash your ticket tonight. Underdog value with Ross Benjamin. Ross, thanks so much for being back with us. We look forward to getting up with you again tomorrow. Thanks for having me, Mike.